So this is a sickle. A sickle is not the same as a scythe. A sickle is a one-handed tool, it's short, and it has a hooked blade. And this is the way that they were used. So you hunch down like so. You grab the grass that you want to cut, and then you pull with that knife. Then you go to the next one, and you pull, and you pull, and you pull, and you pull, and you pull. And you keep going like this until you've got a pretty substantial handful. And once you've got yourself a pretty substantial handful, you are able to use a couple of pieces of the wheat or rye or whatever you're harvesting. You give them a twist and you wrap them around. And then you fold them over. Typically this is done by somebody else than whoever's doing the cutting. And then you have yourself a merry little Christmas and a bundle of wheat. And then you toss that to the side and keep going. Now, from the posture that I'm sitting in, you can tell how awful this is. Like, ludicrously terrible on your back. And if you're harvesting this way, you have to go slow. And you're limited to how much you can provide. And so, back when this was the common way of doing things, I mean, life was nasty, short, and brutish a little bit. Scythes were a huge improvement. However, there's a cool thing with this still, is that you can be way more discriminating in the good way. For example, um, ancient wheat was always full of weeds, and what I can do is, as I am reaching in and grabbing my bunches, I can weave out this lovely dandelion that's here. I can grab everything but the dandelion and cut around it. And so, you can do multi-cropping and not grow a monoculture way easier. Weeds are not a super big deal because they don't jam your combine. You just work your way around them. And so, you know, wheat and tares, if you're doing it on the level of a sickle, it's not that bad to separate them once you're actually in the field. <sighs> yeah, that having been said, I prefer the scythe. Uh, you know, it really is interesting how it just like picks up all the wheat and dumps it on the side, right? And then presumably we just sort of grab an armful, right? I only have one arm. If I was better, probably all the stalks would be pointing in one direction. I think they're mostly pointing this way. And then you'd sort of bind that in a sheath. And then come by and gather up all the sheaves. In Nepal and other places in the world, this is still the basic way people feed themselves. I mean, this is what people use. And so there was a, an enterprising entrepreneur who said, you know what, I want to help these people to get the benefits of the 21st century. And so he worked and built a custom-built uh, machine that could harvest the wheat and grains for them more efficiently. He made basically a weed whacker, and he set up his weed whacker with kind of a, a buzzsaw blade so they wouldn't have to change string all the time. And with that buzzsaw blade, he also had an attachment that was kind of like a cradle type thing that was set up on the shaft. So it would knock all the heads of wheat so they'd fall in the same direction. And he made this machine and he started distributing it and he built a charity around the idea. And you know, it's a huge improvement over this. But then some clever person um, saw what he was doing and said, let's just give him scythes. And so he started the, what's called the scythe project and started distributing them in the same area and selling scythes. And the funny thing about a scythe is for that context, it's actually better. A scythe does not require gasoline, which poor farmers are gonna have a hard time paying for. And so it's way more sustainable in the long run. It's cheaper, it's quieter, it's a more aesthetic experience. And guess what? It's actually faster. So in every single way, the old but still improved technology, I mean, scythes are better than sickles, was the more appropriate solution. It's, that isn't the case everywhere. I mean, modern technology is way better at a lot of things than anything that existed beforehand. Thank you, indoor plumbing. But uh, there are exceptions. And by thinking about the basics and thinking about the fundamental thing that you are trying to accomplish, it's easier to pick the appropriate tool for the job without becoming distracted by, you know, what's shiniest. And that 
is appropriate technology in a nutshell.